now. And Suomelo wins it back. We're underway. Preseason hockey has begun. Megna will send it in for the Barracuda. It's jammed off the near boards, but not out. Puck sent down low. Help the walks with a sharp angled shot. And that is denied by Dostal, who will hang on for a whistle. Dostal among the laundry list of Gulls players that are premier prospects for the Anaheim Ducks organization. Third round pick in 2018. Faceoff will drop to his left. Carrick wins this one. It skips over the stick of Zegris. He'll go backwards behind the net for Drysdale. Now to low. Boy, these are combinations that the Ducks will be hearing for years to come. Pass out in front, rejected, and DeLeo snaps to it. He'll carry it out to center ice. Feed it cross to Zegers, but it was tipped out of midair, and an offside delay will occur. Magna surveys the ice. He'll send it up to Holmgawas. Zips his way through center. On the right wing, he'll carry it down low. Mahura forces him behind the net, and a pass intercepted by Zegers. He'll turn it back the other way. Leading the charge is DeLeo, left wing, shoots! And it just goes high and wide. Here's Drew off the far boards. Tries to go to Zegers, poked away, but he'll keep it alive in the zone and return it to Drew. Minute gone in the first period, no score, and a fresh line for the Gulls, led by Max Jones. Puck tipped out to center. Coe has it stripped by Mahura. The Gulls back on the attack. The backhanded in softly to the far corner. Puck taken behind the net, and a jam of players Try to work it loose. It's away off the far corner and chipped back down low by Perot. First rounder in this most recent draft, 27th overall. Rims around to the near side and out to center. Mahura sends it off the boards right in front of the players' benches. The Gauls admits to change. So a free puck. It's taken by Redica, the former Ontario Reign. He'll feed Bergman. He'll storm it down low behind the Gauls' net. Send it out to the point. Gregoire keeps it in after Tracy got a stick on it. A second attempt worked out by Bo Gruel. Barracuda reset. 150 gone. First period, no score. One shot apiece for each team. Blickfell jumps in on the attack. And a shot turned away by Lucas Dostal. Gulls returning the other way. And Andrew Podrolski not wasting any time. He'll take it all the way down low to the corner. Tracy tried to cut his way through to the fence. No good. It will be iced by the San Jose Barracuda. Brew yet touches up on the hash marks. That'll give us a chance to talk about our Honda three keys to the game. First one, and it's occurring as we speak, a fast start. Gulls are going hard every second they're on the ice. Second one, physicality. Some guys are trying to not only make a roster spot on either side, but also continue to climb their way up the line combinations. And third, don't get nervous. It's been 10 months. Keep your composure. And it's something that some of these young guys might have a little bit of white knuckling on their sticks, but if they can just keep their composure and just think, hey, it's something you've been doing for a good majority of your life, you'll be set. Two and a half gone, first period, no score. Jack Opaco, good work in his own zone to steal a loose puck. He'll feed Benoit, third year pro. Across the brew yet, angled off the far boards. Magnus steps up, Moran gives him a jab. Gets a free for brew yet. He'll work it in and send a wrister on that Cornish steers aside. Loose puck gets flipped up the near boards. Heavy check by Kopaka works it loose, but it's tipped out. And it'll squibble all the way to center ice. Calls back to it yet once more. That's Keegan Lowe who sends it to DeLeo. Reverse for Drysdale, right wing. Carrick to DeLeo. He'll squirt over the line, but offside as he got spun around. And that'll give us another stoppage in play. We're highlighting some of the Gulls players. I know some Barracuda fans are listening in as well. We can highlight some of their guys. How about the top left winger, Hobgawax? Came in undrafted two years ago, and he improved over his rookie season performance. Same point total, but nine fewer games. And he's working the left wing right now with Suomela and Weisblatt. Chase to Leo on the puck in the attacking zone, right circle. He'll leave it. Zegris tried to hit Lowe, who was jumping in towards the net, but just missed on the pass. DeLeo fighting behind the net. And Carrick will work it loose. Sent off to Drysdale on the right point. Cross to Lowe. Lowe right back to Drysdale, but he's forced out to center. And the goals will reset. Zegris to Drysdale. He had to pull back. And DeLeo with it now in the neutral zone. He'll go all the way back as the Gulls are looking to make a line change. 
Andrew Agazzino jumps over the bench. That's a new name that we'll have to get familiar with. If you recall, two years ago, he was with the Colorado Eagles. 30-year-old was claimed off ravers by the Ducks at the end of last season from Pittsburgh. Drew, great pass to Jones, but it just skipped off his stick. And Jones gets a little jab in front of the net. Little scramble, but nothing more than just that. Jones didn't even snow shower Cornash. But they were just a little upset with him going in so hard. On again, another top prospect that they have, a 22-year-old Czech. Joseph Cornash. Four shots for the goals and really controlling a great majority of this play early on. True will jump in on the faceoff. Guy last year who made his NHL debut with the Sharks. Skated in 12 total games. Kicked out of the faceoff by Gazzino. Perot will hop in to take it. He wanted to Jones, try to knife his way to the net, but no good. He gets bodied up in the corner. Puck lugged out by True. He'll feed it to Bergman. He'll lob it in on Dostal, who freezes. And True with the jab on Dostal, and the Gulls will now take exception. And we might have ourselves some penalties. And True gets hauled down to the ice, and then also behind the net. Two players engaged, one from each team. True is trying to go after Drew, who's jumping in. And then Jones jumps in on True and hauls him down to the ice. Bergman and Mahura were the two behind the net. Mahura throws Bergman's helmet to the corner. This is a good little mix-up of what the season series is going to tell for these two teams. And Drew and Bergman now going at it again as the referees were tending to other players. But nothing more than high shoves. Drew escorted to the penalty box. All started with Drew going in hard on the net. And he's not a player to be taken lightly either. He is a big boy. So when he drives in hard, and that was identical to what Max Jones just did on the opposite side of the ice on Cornash. Did snow shower the goalie, but came in. Drew gave a little poke, and the Gulls saying, you're not doing that to our netminder, much like you guys just did to us. Eric and Magna out at center ice on the circle. It's a unique sight if I would have told you that two years ago. Magna wearing the teal and white this season. Right now, he does not have a C. He has an A. Sam Carrick obviously still has the C for the goals. Got everything sorted out. And Garrett came back to the bench. Basically monotone, so I would assume that we have an offsetting penalty. Magna actually doesn't look happy going back to his bench, so we'll see how this shakes out. Goals are gonna end up on the power play, it looks like. So a JMG power play for the Gulls. That's why Carrick was so monotone, saying, hey, we'll take it. First one of the season, you got Carrick, Agazzino, Podorowski up front. Segris is right behind Podorowski, but he's lining up as a defenseman to start. Mahura will quarterback power play unit number one. Andrew Agazzino, a three-time All-Star. He has an All-Star nomination under his belt last season with Wilkesbury to give you an idea of what kind of player he is. 385 points, just over 500 AHL career games. Zegers off the get-go with the drive, but that's blocked to the corner. Ball's working around swiftly. Carrick, left wing board, sends it back to the blue line for Mahara. Return to Carrick. Carrick tried to snap one on. Fanned on the paw to Suomela. Will log it out. Down the ice it goes. A little bit of extra help from another forward, Hamelock. Mahura to the right wing, Carrick. Speeds in, slams on the brakes. Left for Zegras, in front, Agazzino scores! Power play goal 
and the Gulls make it one to nothing. Good tic-tac-toe play. Agazino from Zegris and Carrick. And that was all great vision by each one of those players. Agazino drove hard to the net. And I just got done talking about him. How about that for a little fortune telling? Sneaky, good positioning by the veteran centerman, Andrew Agazino. In case you're keeping score on your rule books back at home, he has an A on his shoulder. Out of the box, it won't be true because we had offsetting minors. We had an extra guy in there serving it. That was wise block. Face off at center ice. Moran wins it. Low to Drysdale. Back to low. Goals hold the one nothing lead. The man advantage working in here early. One for one. Last year, Goals couldn't find the net as easily as that. They had some difficulty here and there. Cut call for the Barracuda puts it in. But he got bodied up by low, and that drew a few players offside. 14.37 left first period. Still lots of time to go. Goals lead 5-2 on the shots. A one and nothing on the big scoreboard. Goals hockey is brought to you by California Coast Credit Union. San Diego's oldest financial institution with over 20 branch locations. A shared branch network of 60 area locations. 30,000 free ATMs nationwide. And Alex Dosti dumped the puck in. Right wing corner, Antoine Moran sends it around to Keegan Lowe at the goal line. Back to Moran, jumps away from him. He'll collect off the far boards. It gets away from him again, so he'll have to chase it down in his own zone. Moran curling back, former second rounder in 2017. Up to Dosti, got around Redekop, but the puck just eluded him, and now Hall Gawaks will retrieve. Send it over left wing, Suomela with a drive, and that's shouldered out of play by Lucas Dosti. We owe you a break. It's Andrew Agazino putting the goals on top, one to nothing, and we are just over six minutes of play. We're turning just a minute. You're listening to San Diego Gulls Hockey. It's over, San Diego. Hockey is back. Sticks are taped, skates are sharpened, and your San Diego Gulls are geared up to take the ice this February. Catch every puck drop, hard hit, and goal this season, and see your Gulls battle the Pacific Division rivals, including the Ontario Reign, San Jose Barracuda, and Colorado Eagles. Stay tuned to SanDiegoGulls.com slash hockey is back. Face off to the right of Dostal. We're back underway with action. Tracy sent it off the left wing out of the reach of Gruel, and it's snapped on by Halbgawax. Covered up by Dostal, and we'll do it all again in the goal zone. 13.43 left first period. Jumping in on the face off will be Gruel. Second rounder, 2018. Faceoff eventually won by the Gulls, and it's sent off the wall by Gruel, but punched back in. Benoit has to track it down, a third-year pro. And just talked about an unsigned guy in Halbgawax. How about Simon Benoit for the Gulls and Ducks organization? He came into the Vegas Rookie Tournament three years ago, unsigned. Impressed thoroughly. Signed an AHL deal. Following that, signed an entry-level deal. After an icing call, goals back in their own zone. 
Russo holds. Left for Blickfeld, shoots and scores. And the Barracuda tie it up. Blickfeld with the snap, but lots of traffic in front. And he will even this one up at one. And good poise by Russo there at the blue line to just wait. Let his winger come in for the extra help. Blickfeld a year after being an AHL All-Star and scoring 16 last year in that short season of 44 games for him. Evens it up for the Barracuda. Russo, as we remember from Tucson, very good offensive defenseman. Had a down year last year with the Roadrunners, but still part of a very good blue line for the Barracuda this season. San Jose back on the attack, but Eric and Zegris work it out. It's played up to DeLeo. He'll touch it in to the right wing corner. Juxta from Quinnipiac University played it off the glass and over the glass for a stoppage play. He's another guy who's, and, and I'm, you're going to be blue in the face. I'm going to be blue in the face from saying it. You're going to, ears are going to be tired of hearing it, but prospect is going to be the word this year. Juxta is a guy who been on the Sharks' radar, Quinnipiac, and a, a Latvian defenseman. And Gulls fans, Barracuda fans, Ducks fans, Sharks fans, all well aware of a name, Sandis Ogelens, a former Shark and Duck back in the day. He was a Latvian defenseman. Along with Artis Urbe, if I memory serves me correct. Trying to flex my NHL knowledge there. 12 and a half. First period, 1-1. Back in his own zone, Hunter Drew tried to thread the needle on a pass to Sam Carrick, but it ends up offside. Sorry, not offside, but icing. And we'll go back to San Diego Gull zone. Hunter Drew last year at the end of the season was reassigned to Tulsa right at the beginning of March. He skated in five games, but the majority of the year he was here with the Gulls. Skated in 29 games, picked up seven points, and a plus six rating. Reguar for the Barracuda after the faceoff. A shot blocked by Mahura. He'll charge to center. Mahura tried to feed Zegers on the right wing, but it's denied. Blocked to the corner. Derek to it. Tried to send it up to the line for Mahura, but knocked away. And at center, it's Drysdale who picks up the loose change. To Zegers and back in. Cornash out of his net. Just over eight gone, first period. We're tied at one. Agassino and Blickfeld, the two goal scorers. Puck cleared back to the San Diego territory. Back to Magna. His drive gets blocked. Scooped up by Max Jones. Rolls away from his stick. Keegan Lowe will send it back behind the net for Drysdale. He'll shake loose of the four check and return it to Keegan Lowe. Angled off the near boards. Jones tried to tip it in, but it is blocked. Sent back out to center ice. Drysdale resets. 18-year-old looks up ice. The Agazino bats it out of midair and into the Barracuda zone. Bornash out to play it while the goals get a line change. Up ice is Merkley. Cross ice tipped in. Wise Blatt charges in after he deflected it. Benoit, who has the other eight for the goals, sent it along the blue line. Not out. Suomelo from his knees as he fell down to the ice. He made a pass to the slot, but Kopaka, great back check. He'll steal it, and it's played behind the net for Bruyard. Now to Dosti off the far boards. Moran with lots of space. A Hail Mary pass for Kopaka. Just tipped away to the corner. He'll fetch it. Send it to the slot, but it gets away from his teammates, and Moran back after it on his own zone. He'll skate behind the net for protection. Ooh, he's pressured hard there by Weisblatt. Able to get it off to the far boards, but kept in. A turnaround shot, missing high and wide. Buck rolls right in front of the goal's bench. Right it out to center ice. Dosti eludes his stick check to Kopaka. Right wing, shoots! High and wide to the net, it goes. Rule jumping in, fresh on the bench. He'll add pressure to the Barracuda defense. It's pulled behind the net, and holding strong on it is Russo. 2017 Calder Cup champion and All-Star that year. We'll hold on to it behind his own net and then send it off the right wing boards. Mahura jumps on it. He'll intercept. Backhanded off the curved glass to give us a stoppage. We'll talk about the goal's third year defenseman more in depth when we get to our first intermission report. That's Josh Mahura, but for now, wheel you a break. 
1-1, under 10 to go first period. This is San Diego Gulls hockey. Gulls fans, it's now time for the California Coast Credit Union Helmet Shuffle. Let's see if you can guess which helmet has the puck. Knotted up one apiece. We welcome you back to Five Point Arena at Great Park Ice. My name's Andy Zilch and a face-off that Bo Gruel will take control of. Tracy scoots it back to Mahura. And they're now adding official assists to each goal. It was Egazino Zegers. They didn't have Carrick on there as a secondary, but he does get that. And then the other goal, Blickfell from Russo and Robbins gets credit with the secondary assist for the Barracuda. Puck at center ice, Blick fell to it, we'll chop it into the goal zone. Up to get it, Lucas Dostal. He'll go to Mahura, now Drew, and out to center. Merkley will settle it down. First rounder in 2018 for the Sharks. Back to Magna, he'll swat at a knuckling puck, blocked in front by Drew, and Carrick on the back check after it. No curl and swing up ice. Can't step around Bergman, but Zegras there for extra support. And a fight through Kostic check, and that'll lead him to the corner. Go able to reach loose with it. Play to Bergman and sent in. Keegan Lowe and True battle for it. Now behind the net, another pair of white and black jerseys battle. This time it's Drysdale and Co. Co prevails. Six foot six forward, wearing number 93. Hard to miss him out there. Chopped off the far boards. And all perimeter work right now as the goals are attempting to get this one on its own. Oh, bodied up by DeLeo. Excellent work by the goals. Five foot nine forward on a six foot six opponent. Not able to get it out just yet. A soft shot. And topping almost put the change up through Dostal. He's able to smother and hang on for a whistle. 8-12 left first period, 1-1 one, one score. And the Gulls' shots on goal department has been at a standstill ever since I mentioned it within the first five minutes. They have sat at five shots for a greater part of the past seven minutes. And I actually believe they haven't had a shot on goal since the Agazino goal which occurred 5.03 in. And Watt clears the puck out of his own zone. He paid the price on a check from Pashnik. Balls apply pressure. Bruyette holds it in. Try to play it down low, but it's packed away. And Pashnik again to it. 25 roll out of Arizona State University. Couldn't get it deep. And turned back the other way by Perot. Send it in and Gregoire to it. A fed up ice. The Barracuda halted at neutral ice. Bodies collide and coming away with the puck. The Suamela. He'll send it right wing for Halbgawax. Sent back to the blue line and a lot of time for Redekop. He'll cross the Gregoire. Floats one to the net, but blocked by the bodies right in front of Dostal and Moran. Will speed to center with it. Poked away off his stick. Popaka with the loose change to the backhand. Save. Rebound. Another save by Kornosh. And a loose puck behind the net. Kopaka, good active stick. He'll hold it alive for Moran. Now Drew pinching. And a wrist shot. Doesn't go. Mahura gets bodied up, but he holds the puck in. Down low behind the net for Alex Dosti. 
He was red hot early last year. Scored seven goals in the month of November, which contained 11 games. His pass gets blocked, and Holmgo Ox will dump it into the goal zone. A soft, no-look centering pass gets gobbled up by Mahura. Carried back by Gruel. Lots of speed into the zone. Gonna pass it off the shin pad of Merkley. Gruel stays strong on it. He'll find Kopak on the left wing. He gets bodied up. He can't play it to low. It's intercepted. Wise Blatt to Magna. Backhanded into the goal zone. Players collide in the far corner. Buck found Blickfeld, who's atop the circle. Fanned on it. He'll get it again. Fanned on the stick handling and the goals two gifts they're trying to take advantage of it Podorowski up ice he gets watched closely and then hauled down there will be a penalty on the play and the goals will head back to the JMG power play to try to get back on top they had the lead lost the lead one minute and 37 seconds later we'll take a break and return to the five-point arena this is San Diego goals hot Go Lighting. We make it happen. The American Hockey League and its 31 teams all live at theahl.com. If you're at home or on the go, stay connected to scores, stats, and highlights for your favorite team through theahl.com or the official AHL mobile app. Need AHL gear or authentic game-worn jerseys? Theahl.com's just what you need. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up with the latest news and chatter. History, excellence, and tradition. Be a part of it all at theahl.com. One one to score. Two minute power play for the San Diego Gulls. They converted on the last one. It was Agazino from Zegris and Carrick. And you have Schusta who's in the box on the tripping call. Trying to slide poke check slash. Roll on the ice and take out Podorowski, and he did just that. And he's in the box for it. Uhura on the blue line. Balls work the perimeter. No play to Agazino on the left boards. Right back to Mahura. Podorowski, one touch. Zegris, he gets pressure quickly. Bergman all over him. Pass wasn't exactly tape to tape. Podorowski fumbled it, so Zegris did not have enough time to settle that down. The goals have to retreat. Already 32 seconds gone off the man advantage. Podorowski back in. He'll lead it for Carrick. Centered Zegris, but he couldn't completely get the stick on it. Puck knocked away by Suomela to center. And the Barracuda adjusting on this penalty kill. They're trying a chance, and it's blockered away by Dostal. That was a quick look up ice. Suomela had Hamiluk streaming down the left wing side. And they turned something from nothing. Puck cleared. Goals to a change. 55 left to the man advantage. There's Drysdale at center. He'll drop it for Tracy. Across the blue line. Tracy slams on the brakes and gave it right up. Pashnik will clear. Resetting his brew yet. He'll drop for Tracy. And a pass goes through the five hole of Perot. Now he was unsuspecting of the pass, so an icing call on the San Diego Gulls. Who is yet? you might be asking. Where's number 39? Hails from Quebec. Spent the last three years at McGill University, and if that sounds familiar, that's where assistant coach David Urquhart was last at. He was a coach there, and Druyette's got an extensive history. He played in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League for five seasons and had a quick cup of coffee in the ECHL and a very, very quick cup of coffee with the Toronto Marlies. Gauls gain the blue line, 11 left to the power play. Here's Bruyette, a left-handed shot. He'll feed Drysdale. 
Behind the net for DeLeo. Perot tried to go back door, but it just got deflected. Boy, waiting on that back door was Tracy, and that would have been an easy tapping. Drysdale from the point one timer block. yet sets it up again. Tried the back door feed yet once more, but it hit off a skate of Megna. Slid to Cornosh, and he will freeze with 3.46 left of the first frame. Gulls adding more pressure. Their shot total up to 8-6. But the game score, the one that matters the most, 1-1. Antoine Moran take the face off. Wins it to Dosti. Hunter Drew along the near wing. Backhands it down low to Kopaka. Benoit tried to sneak in from the right point. Blocked away to the boards. Barracuda doing a great job making sure that that backdoor play does not work for the Gulls, but the Gulls are trying it and seeing if it works. And boy, once it does, though, they, they got great illusion from the coverage. Board battle in the San Diego zone. Prevailing with it, Hunter Drew backhanded to Moran. Carries the puck in. Drop for Dosky. Snaps one on. And Kornosh throws up the leather to hang on for a whistle. Just about three minutes remaining. Period number one. We're live at Five Point Arena at Great Park Ice here in Irvine, California. My name is Andy Zilch. It's been a thrilling one so far. Happy to be back in the saddle bringing you goals hockey. And I know that the goals fans are back either watching on our feed or listening in the Gulls Audio Network. I'd be curious how your setup looks. Tweet me. Andy underscore Zilch. I want to see what it looks like because my Twitter is going to get flooded. We've been waiting so long for this. Bergman for the Barracuda. Try to drop pass, but way too many back checkers for the San Diego Gulls. And it worked out to the Gulls' favor as Jones will knock it away into the Barracuda zone. San Diego in black, Barracuda in white. They're in the twilight phase of period number one. Low to the right wing for Jones, holds, and then pivots and pushes it in as the goals will complete a change. Zegras in on the hunt. Chuk stuff from behind his own cage. Carries left wing side and then intercepted by Carrick. Leads up Zegras on the attack. He shoots and a save made. That was a rebound opportunity that he was aiming for. But the Leo got covered by the defense of the Barracuda. That was a good heads up play by the 19 year old Zegras. He wasn't trying to score. He was trying to create a rebound there for his teammates. Zegras back in his own zone on the back check. He'll steal it yet once more. Carry it up. Play behind his back to Carrick who's charging on the right wing. He'll fade to the corner, lay it up behind the net for Zegras. Play back to Mahura, wide open, winds it up, deflected by Carrick, but no good. Merkley for the Barracuda sends it up, and a good body check by Hunter Drew. And he sent down Magna, who's no easy guy to put down on the ice. Magna started striding up ice, and Hunter Drew put him on his back. Leo able to hold the puck in after another Barracuda clearing attempt. Podorowski shoots and scores! 2-1, Andrew Podorowski coming through for the goals after great pressure to keep the puck in the Barracuda zone. And even though Podorowski got the goal, a lot of guys contributed on that. You went through a line and a half to make sure that that pressure kept alive for San Diego. The lead is yet once more obtained by the San Diego Gulls with 1.13 remaining. Podorowski last year, seven points, 17 games played. Never played more than seven consecutive games and a very strong injury plagued year. Good to see him back and healthy yet once more. We're back in action. Barracuda win the faceoff, jumped in the zone. Battle for it, Brew yet trying to slap it out. Taken by Bergman, he'll lay one towards the net. Tipped away and a delayed penalty on the goals. A hooking call after that quick pressure that the Barracuda laid on will send Bruyette to the box. Fifty-five point four remaining first period. Goals will now have to protect their two to one lead. 
And one aspect that was very strong for the goals last year, the penalty kill, will take to the ice. After two power plays for San Diego, this is San Jose's first one of the game. Face off to the right of Dostal. Jones, Carrick, Benoit, and Drew out for San Diego. Jones will slap it down the ice after good board battles by Benoit and Drew. Obviously, this power play for the Barracuda will carry over to the second if they're unable to convert. Hall walks across the line. Go to Robbins and then backtrack to Merkley. Merkley high slot, Hall walks Far wing, Blickfeld one-timer, and a save made by Lucas Dostal. Blickfeld with one skate on the top of the circle. Teed that one up trying for a second of the night, but no good. This is a guy who's just two years removed from an unbelievable WHL season. 114 points, led the WHL, was the player of the year that last season. And he came in quite a good statement last year in the American Hockey League, trying to duplicate and then surpass and soar to the NHL. Face off win by Suomela. Hall Gowatz to Blickfeld. Nice quick passing, but the goals defenseman Keegan Lowe able to get a stick in there, and DeLeo will send it away. 11 seconds left of the period. 2 1 goals. DeLeo forcing the Barracuda to make quick passes. They'll have to. Up ice, a long one to Blickfeld, but he's swallowed up by Jones. Lowe will send it backwards to Mahura. They'll wind out the clock. Period one in the books, and the San Diego Gulls lead by a margin of 2 1. 105 of the Brew Yet hooking call will carry over into period number two. I hope you're enjoying San Diego Gulls hockey. It's been way, way too long. Times of sitting at home wondering when this moment will occur. The San Diego Gulls are finally back, and it's a 2-1 to one score. San Diego leading over the San Jose Barracuda. We got intermission coverage coming your way. We're going to talk with Josh Mahura. We'll talk with Kevin Deneen. We're also going to get a recap of this period. And we're going to talk some Anaheim Ducks hockey. A shutout victory last night for the big boys up at the Honda Center. We'll talk with you soon. This is San Diego Gulls Hockey.
Thanks, my name's Andy Silch. Some NHL scores to talk about. Let's talk about the big one first. The Anaheim Ducks last night able to pull away with a shutout victory on the Minnesota Wild. The only goal coming in the third period. And here is your clip from the Ducks Audio Network. games that are going on right now it is so fun to talk hockey and to see especially these rivals that are gonna really take a, a step up a notch when you're only playing in your own division right now 2-2 Blue Jackets and Red Wings and we have a game later on Avalanche against the Kings who are 0-0-2 which is an interesting stat to look at for the Kings uh, I'll be curious to see how they move forward for the first few games and a lot of finals to report on already Devils 4-3 against the Rangers. Flyers 3-0 against the Sabres. You also have the Panthers winning in overtime against the Blackhawks, who are still held winless 0-3-0. That score of that game, Florida 5, Chicago 4. Penguins winning in overtime against the Capitals 5-4. Jets on top of the Senators 4-3, and that rounds out those games that occurred tonight. We are the only AHL game going on right now. The San Diego Gulls with a 2-1 lead over the San Jose Barracuda. Still a lot more to talk about. That segment was your Fox 5 out-of-town scoreboard update. Fox 5, the official television partner of the San Diego Gulls. We'll take a short break. Stick around. we got more coming your way. It's a chat about Josh Mahura. Kevin Deneen and Josh Mahura both inquired uh, about the leadership that this three-year player brings to the table. Something you don't say a lot, a three-year player, but Josh Mahura certainly has the composure, the posture, and the leadership qualities to do so. We'll touch on that more when we return. You're listening to San Diego Gulls Hockey. Gulls hockey is back. We need you to get up and get in shape. We need you ready by February 5th. Come on, Gulliver, let's go. Come on, get back in shape, Gulliver. Come on, get that bar up. Let's go, buddy. Come on, push. Push it, Gulliver. Push it, you got it. Hockey season's right around the corner, Gulliver. Come on, work.
San Diego, the moment you've been waiting for is here. Your San Diego Gulls are back and ready to take the ice this February at the Pechanga Arena. Stay tuned to SanDiegoGulls.com for more information. Great Park Ice. My name is Andy Zilch. The Gulls with a 2 to 1 lead against the Barracuda. We talked about Josh Maher leading up to this. He's a three year guy, but that's something in the American Hockey League where you're looked up to be a leader. And especially with the youngsters that we have coming in here, a few 18 year olds, a pair of 19 year olds, guys that normally would not play at this level from the North American standpoint. Generally, Europeans can play at this level, but right now, you got Zegris. Tracy, Perot, and a guy like Drysdale that have all joined, and a few other young men as well, like Gruel, that are joining the pro ranks. So with that being said, a guy like Josh Mahura has now been around this culture. He's assumed responsibility for not only still continuing to progress in his career, but also assume responsibility of helping out when needed. And the head coach, Kevin Denee, spoke on that.
I'm Matt Savant, the president of business operations for the San Diego Goals. Cal Coast and the Goals have a shared sense of value. That's why we really love working with them. Because of Cal Coast Credit Union, there's so many community outreach programs. We're able to offer these amazing experiences to families in San Diego. We donate tickets to underprivileged kids in the San Diego community, the High Five Tunnel, where the kids get to interact with our players, and there's much more to come. The partnership between Cal Coast and the San Diego Goals is something we're very proud of. It's all about giving back. Together with Cal Coast, we're improving lives in our community. Hi, my name is Mike Nance, and I'm the founder and CEO of A Bridge for Kids. A Bridge for Kids is dedicated to improving the lives of at-risk teenagers right here in our hometown of San Diego. With the help of our passionate team of supporters, we've been able to provide financial sponsorships to hundreds of teens all over San Diego County. At A Bridge for Kids, our mission is to help bridge the gap between our students' dreams and the resources that can help them make those dreams into a reality. We're so proud to be partnering with the San Diego Goals this season and can't wait to cheer on our hometown team. You too can be a hero. To learn more about A Bridge for Kids, visit our website at abridgeforkids.org. We're back inside the Five Point Arena. My name is Andy Silch, the San Diego Goals. They two to one lead heading into the second period. Let's go back and look at the goals. The power play though, was what got the goals started. You had an Andrew Agazino backdoor tap in that was set up by Zegris and Carrick. The other side of the ice though, one minute, just a little over a minute later, the San Jose Barracuda tied it up. But at the end of the period, the San Diego Gulls had a goal scored from Gruel. Podorowski and DeLeo got the assist, and that is where we are at. Right there, as you just saw on the feed, was the goal from the Barracuda. And snuck past the traffic, and then finally, yet once again, that goal from Andrew Podorowski. That's where we stand. The Gulls will continue to kill. You got a minute left as it stands right now, and that penalty. And I have got to apologize to my French Canadian fans. Bruyette is how you pronounce the name, not Bruyard, Bruyette. I got some help during the intermission, so that's how it is pronounced officially here. We got Gulls pinned back in their own territory. Good chopping along the boards and good physicality that gets brought to the early stages of period number two. Jones will storm out of the zone right wing. They'll play to the high slot for DeLeo. Ball still shorthanded for 26 more seconds. Heads up play by Mahura. We'll go backwards to Benoit and then tipped up into the zone. Barkley for San Jose. Played up to True. One touch, all go off. Nine seconds left of the kill to True. Poked away on the great back check there by Gruel. Left in by the Barracuda. Berkeley winds up a shot, kicked away. Heads up play on a redirect there by Dostal. Balls out to center, Moran. Left wing side, leads the charge. Couldn't toe drag around Berkeley. Puck played to the wall and then punched out. 120 gone, second period. Keegan Lowe back cuddles in his own zone. He'll feed it up to center. Moran jarred away from the puck. Recollected by Zegris, poked off his stick again. Great way to stay on side though on the far wing. And it's sent down low by Moran. Beg your pardon, that was Keegan Lowe. And we'll talk about him in the second intermission report. Here's Drysdale on the blue line, back to low, winds up a heavy shot, but it sails high and wide and rolls all the way back to the San Diego zone. 2 1, Gauls with the lead. Zeno and Gruel are the two scores officially on the score sheet. They have Podorowski. I don't know if Gruel got a stick on that one or not. I'll have to get clarification. But off the board, Zegras almost snuck it in. Carrick with a shot at the end board. So get it again and scores! Sam Carrick makes it 3-1. to one. Zegras with a good opportunity off the lively boards. Somehow, Kornash kept it out. Sam Kerry gets another shot from far out. And he makes that one count. Eric last year led the San Diego Gulls in points. 12 more than Weidman. Led him in goals. Seven more than Sherwood. He had 23 last year. And not skipping a beat. This is how good Sam Carrick has been with the Gulls. 189 games played, 156 points. On the right wing, it's Perot. Cross ice, Jones across the line. 
Sent it in front, but Mahura couldn't get a stick on it. Just a pass that led him a hair too far. And it's clear down the ice on an icing call. The goals with a great start after the kill. To regain some momentum here in this middle stanza. Face off will drop to the right of Kornosh. As I spoke about, he's looking for a rebound here. Stats declined in every category in the major statistics. Save percentage, goals against average wins. Another icing call on the Barracuda. His rookie season absolutely outstanding. 28, sorry, 23, 8, and 3. But last year, 12, 6, and 7. And I think the Barracuda as a whole could rebound as a team this season. Agassino on the faceoff. He'll get booted. Perot will jump in to take it. Topping the 21-year-old from the WHL on the faceoff of the Barracuda. He wins it. And if scooting in with it was Kotkov, but he gets brought off the puck. Josh Mahura collects in his own zone up to Perot. Play it to Jones, and a two-on-one developing. Agazino leads the way with a snapshot, but Kornosh denies to the boards. Puck cleared out to the neutral zone. Merkley for the Barracuda. He'll jump on the offense. Snap one on, Dostal to save. Puck still sliding around the crease, and then slapped away by Jones. Ball's trying to get it out. Off the wall, it's punched out by Gruyette. Back in Blickfeld. Left wing side, and zoning in on that one was Dostal. He didn't have much around him, so that's an easy save for the 22-year-old. I beg your pardon, 20-year-old. Dostal will have the face off to his right. Last year, overall, with stats for him, 27-8-6. Keep in mind, this is has a 19-year-old in the Finnish Elite League. 92.8 save percentage, 1.78 goals against average, competing in 43 games played. Keep in mind the taxi squad rules that we'll have. Right now you have Gibson and Miller up top with the Ducks. Stolars is on the taxi squad. So if you're jumping in here a little blind, that's the reason being for no Anthony Stolars. We got an extension recently as well. Balls back on the attack, and Tracy couldn't sneak one through Cornish. Something that B.J. McPherson and I talked about on the most recent podcast is the goaltending, not only depth, but just the fact that it's year after year of good quality goaltenders that come through this organization. Top to bottom, Ducks goals. And you can even speak to the ECHL affiliation with the Tulsa Oilers. And what the young product is down there as well. Roman Derny, Ali Eriksson Eck. 420 gone, second period, 3-1. Balls with the lead. Kornash almost caught out of his net. Balls keep it alive. Good reach by Keegan Lowe, but he couldn't sustain the pressure for very much longer as Suomela got an active stick on him. Nasty curls back to the neutral zone, feeds it left wing. Lowe swings it back in. Moran on the hunt after it. Chukesta for the Barracuda to it. Rolled out to center ice. All go ox in. They'll slam on the brakes, feeds Suomela, rings one off the bar. And it's taken by Lowe on the rebound, and he'll clear it out. And exit up to Kopaka on the right wing. He tried to cross ice, and that sails right next to the director of marketing, Ryan Johnson. That's the one thing that I got to be aware of from where I'm sitting. I have to keep my head on a swivel. So if there's some silence for more than 10 seconds, send a paramedic. I am. Basically standing right on top of the glass, four rows up, five rows up. Base off will drop to the left of Kornosh. 
Bergman will carry it to center, lob it in. Costal out, far boards it goes. Kept alive by Coe. Six foot four, 190 forward, sends it down low to True, a six foot six forward. Lots of size on this line. Excellent talent on the left wing by Bergman. Ball's responding the other way though. It's Chase DeLeo, led to pass. That's too tall for Mahura. He'll tap it down low to the corner. Retreat to his defensive position. Play for Zegras. Hovers on the right circle. All the way to the blue line. Fed to Mahura. A wind up a snapshot. Uh, gets tipped wide. Merkley carries it away. Tip it out to the neutral zone. Leo swallows it up. Sends it back to Mahura. Long line changes this period. So the Gauls taking advantage of the time they have. Use that line change. And Mahura standing behind the net with it still. Third rounder in 2016. Feeds it up to Zegras. He'll backhand it in. Hustling after it's Agazino. Lots of speed as he gets tangled up behind the net. Able to shake free momentarily from Kotkov. Played it to Perot, but his cross ice speed didn't go. Kotkov to it at center. Got a lead pass, topping broken up. And with over six and a half gone now in period number two, Barracuda reset and dump it back in. Back in the corner, it's Pashnik. Who's Younger brother is on the San Jose Sharks roster and a standstill, a board battle that has three players for the goals, two for the Barracuda. And with the goals outnumbering, they win. And Pro carries the center. Great drop pass. Max Jones charges to the net and a backhander gets knocked away. Topping for the Barracuda, rolls it off the near boards. Yet there, but couldn't send it down low and it's knocked out. Pashnik to center. Tried to dump it into the goal zone, but it hit the curved glass to send us to a halt. 7-0-1 expired out of the second frame. 3-1 San Diego Gulls with the lead. This is San Diego Gulls High. Draw. Lost the face off to Suomelo. We're back underway. And fired in from center, just missing Dostal's net. Andrew Pawlowski on the near board. Still send it off the wall, not out. Kept alive at the line. Pawlowski trying to stay strong on the puck. He's got Halbogwatch. Drysdale helps out as well. The puck rimmed over to the point. Chukes, though, that'll keep it alive. Sit back down low. Low behind his own goal line. Can't get it off the near boards. And we keep going around the perimeter. Buck squirts free to the slot after hitting off of the skate. But Drysdale sends it out to Podorowski. Good angle pass to Tracy. He'll drop it for Drysdale. Centered. He could not connect one to Gruel on the back door. And like they talk about in period number one, the Barracuda, great realization of what's sneaking in on the back door to prevent any tap in goals. Buck finds its way on Kornosh. He'll steer it aside to Merkley. And now fed to Magna. Boy, this is pairing for the Barracuda as we find him offside. is very identical to what we saw two years ago when Magna was skating with Mahura. Merkley, 20-year-old, 
first rounder at the 2018 draft. And he's a guy who's coming out of the OHL, and why not? Put him with good experience. And we all in San Diego know darn well what kind of experience Magna can bring to the table. Costi able to tip the puck off to the blue line out of his zone. Barracuda has to tag up. Hunter Drew with lots of time. Sent one up to Kopaka. Missed the target and an icing call on San Diego. 3-1 our score. Balls with two power play opportunities converted on one. San Jose 0 for 1. Face off will drop to the right of Dostal. One by the Barracuda. Gregoire stepped into one, but a glove save made by Dostal. Gregoire continuing to improve year after year. 22 year old defenseman. Good offensive numbers last year. Five goals, 19 assists. And he was a guy who was relied upon on the power play when, if you recall, his rookie season was not out there for the man advantage. And as you just saw, his booming shot is a reason why. Another chance in front of the net. Dostal makes the save. Scramble for the puck. And Moran sends it away to the corner. He gets some assistance from Drew. Dahl's unable to clear. A snapshot by the defenseman Gregoire. Did not connect. Moran off the wall to Dosti. Up to Kopak. A one-on-one -on, -one on Gregoire. He'll hold. Send it to Moran, couldn't poke it. He got tangled up pretty good as he was charging to the net. And we might have ourselves a goals power play here. Moran charging in for the tip. Never became available because his stick was tangled and his stick came up, I believe, is the high stick call. Redekop will go. It is indeed a high stick on the former Ontario Reign defenseman. Base off will drop to the left of Cornash. Calls one for two on oh, that man advantage as I just spoke of earlier. Agazino from Zegris and Carrick. 5.03 in. The JMG power play taken to the ice. So for this unit, you got Zegris, Carrick, Paderolski, Agazino, and Bruyette. Zegris off the right circle. Cross to Agazino in front. Sam Carrick scores. His third point of the night. Second goal tonight. Boy, he hasn't skipped a beat. After 10 months, he is still an absolute force for the San Diego Gulls. And the power play is entertaining at least. vision on this power play unit. The fact that they can score so quickly just makes it fun to watch. Four to one goals. We're almost halfway through the game. Eric trying to cut it up through center to Zegris. It's poked away. Buck sent in. Hamiluk got a twig on it. Second rounder in 2019 by the Sharks. Leo chops it off the far boards, and rolls out to center. We got touched by a hand, so that'll halt our play. Face off will drop just outside the goal zone. Again, the stat line for the most recent goal, very similar to the first one with all three players up front. Getting a hand on the score sheet. Carrick from Agazino and Zegris. The first power play goal was Agazino from Zegris and Carrick. Drysdale fires the puck in, rim to the left wing side. Agazino battling. Jarred free and trying to sneak his way to the slot was Max Jones, but unsuccessful. Skating away with the pucks, Agazino back to Drysdale, one timer save, and it just slid towards the goal line. It somehow squeaked through Cornash, but it did not cross the line. It stays a 4 to 1 game with 9.45 left of the second period. 
And that one almost found the five hole, but realizing it was sneaking through his Cornish to reach back and make the stop. We'll return in just a moment. This is San Diego Gulls Hockey. Head coach, Dallas Akins. Akins was the head coach for four seasons with the Gulls and made three appearances in the Calder Cup playoffs during Akins' coaching time. Across the line, he had DeLeo all over him, turned over. In on a breakaway, Eric scores! His second of the night! San Diego advanced to the Western Conference Finals for the first time in club history under Akins. Intercepts the pass, cut to the net, scores! Sam Steele, short hand! The Dade City, Florida native was hired to coach the Ducks on June 17, 2019, and posted a record of 29, 33, and 9 in his first season as the head coach. Head coach, Dallas Akins, a Gulls grad. Gulls with a 4 to 1 lead, 9.45 left of the second period. Glad you're with us. Barracuda again on Thursday night, 6 o'clock start yet once more. And Stockton will roll in town. Gulls find it at center. This is Josh Mahura. He'll feed Hunter Drew. Second professional season underway for him. Tracy across the line. Tried to go back to Drew, but the pass jumped over his stick. Retreat to center to collect. Now Gruel gets tangled up. Able to slide himself away and feed Andrew Podorowski. We'll go cross ice, and we'll have a fight here. Hunter Drew against Pashnik. Our first fight of the season. And Hunter Drew going in tight. He'll tangle up. Pashnik has a little bit of size on him, but Drew gets the first one in, and a second one. He's able to fend off the rights. Hunter Drew able to sneak free on the right hand, but he gets tangled up yet once more. Pashnik got a good grip on his right shoulder. Pashnik has it wound up, he didn't connect. Hunter Drew sneaks another one in there. I think he bopped him on the chin that time. And the gas is on empty for each player. Drew and Pashnik go to the box. Five minutes for fighting. To liven it up a little bit more with 9.05 remaining of the second period. San Diego Gulls still hold a 4-1 lead against the San Jose Barracuda. That'll drop back in the goal zone. Hunter Drew coming out of Kingston. And making more of a case for himself here to be a mainstay with the goals. And a regular player. With good poise in his own zone and then physicality like that. Jack Kopaka snaps one on the crossbar. And they say it went in. Jack Kopaka hit back bar and in. That'll extend the San Diego lead. Five to one. What a release by number 32. Fifteen points in 37 games with the Gulls last year. And we'll have to go to the overhead on that one. What a release. I'll tell you one thing, there was no hesitation from the linesman. Woo what a bullet. Opaka simply carried that from the left wing. Dropped it over the shoulder and under the bar. Now he's trying for number two right off the face off and a backhander. Blockered away by Cornish. Moran off the left wing. 
Drop for Dosti. Kopak, oh, he had the one-timer teed up, but it's poked away at the last second by Suomelo. Yet long stretch pass doesn't connect to Dosti, and an icing call on the goals. Benoit and Bruyette out for the goals on the blue line. Moran, Dosti, Kopak up front. But a line change will await them once they get possession and get it deep into the Barracuda zone. Having a little trouble with it, it's stuff. Kopaka, he's trying for number two. He'll race in, this time he fed it, but it was behind Moran, and the goal slowly making a change. Kopaka tried to hit a fresh Trevor Zegers off the bench, but a blocked pass. He's backhanded in. Benoit back in his own goal line after it. He'll slam True up against the boards. It's jarred free for DeLeo. He's got an odd man rush, but against him, a one on two. And he's erased off the play by Merkley. Merkley in his own zone with some time and space. Sends it off to the left side for Redekop. Fed up, lots of speed. Bergman across the blue line, shoots, and a save made by Dostal. It's still loose, and finally smothered by the young netminder. 7.29 left of the second period. The Gulls with a 5-1 lead. Catch you up on the scoring. Everything that's happened in this period. Carrick, 2-11 in, unassisted. Carrick again, 9-21 from Agazino and Zegers. Most recently at 11-14, Kopaka on assistant. Face off to the right of Dostal. Zegris and Drysdale to alleviate the pressure. Egan Lowe will tip it along the blue line and up to Carrick. A one-toucher, Zegris sprints free. He'll snap one on and a save made by Kornosh. Carrick trying to lower the boom in the corner. Not able to nudge it free, though. It finds the stick of Magna, and he'll guide it out. Drysdale chopped off the puck by Hamiluk. Able to retrieve it, play it off and out. Chuksta. Far boards, and cleared back down the ice again. Leo this time from his own zone. Comes away with it. He'll feed Agazino on the right side. Good saucer pass to Mahura. He shoots, and a glove save is made by Kornosh, who hangs on for a whistle with just over six and a half left. Our second stanza. Hall's leading shots 24 17. And there is times where it spurts. The Barracuda just cannot handle the. First of all, the speed and precision passing that the goals have created tonight. I think that's one thing that has clearly separated them. And obviously, it's on the power play, too, that has been a big factor. Magazino has been a big contributor tonight as well. Talk about Sam Carrick having a three-point night. Andrew Agazino with two points, same as Zegers. Kotkov finds himself at center. The Russian backhands it into the goal zone. Mahura finds Jones. Right back to Mahura. St. Albert, Alberta native. Can't split through Barracuda players. And it's back out to the neutral zone. Lowe tried to touch it up ice. Instead, it goes into the Barracuda bench. Yeah, once again during this intermission, we will talk with Keegan Lowe. We'll take a break and return. This is San Diego Gulls Hockey.
with a commanding 5 to 1 lead, 552 left of the second period. So Lamella winning the faceoff against Gruel. Nice play by Tracy to steal it away. Just pressuring Merkley. Barracuda able to respond though and brought in and over the line. Offside is your call. But teed it up a few times, but we'll hammer it home one more time. We will tease the Gauls cast that's already available, but we'll talk with Keegan Lowe, a newcomer who was on the dark side last two, three years actually with the Bakersfield Condors and has now found the lights and is playing for the San Diego Gauls. We'll just play a snippet of the Gauls cast interview, but the full Gauls cast is already live and on the website, but it's a good conversation with him and a very poised man, too. He's a guy who's a, quite an asset to this organization. 5.15 left of the second. Barracuda pressure back in their own zone. Hall go walks. Boy, watch him turn on the Jets. And there he goes. He has got around three goals players into the attacking zone. A pass to the right wing side. Weisblatt fanned on it. Recovered and a snapshot on the high slot gets blocked. Another feed in the middle and it doesn't go. Found in the corner by Halvgowax. Podorowski can't jam him up against the boards. Halvgowax trying to stutter step himself free. It's poked away by Podorowski and Keegan Lowe will charge out. Berkeley almost stepped up and hit him, but Keegan Lowe gets it free. And then an offside and that'll go all the way down the ice because that was technically an intentional offside. But a smart one for Lowe because he needed to get to the bench for a line change. Quick thinking is something that is so underestimated in hockey. Decisions like that that can happen in half a second. Dosti can't backhand it out. Kept alive. Here's Coe. Fade off on the right wing, played to Redekop. Redekop touches it to Topping, who's fresh off the bench, and his shot rises high and wide. The Gauls will chase it down. Redekop in his own zone, a pass hits off his skate blade. Moran to it. Brought in offside yet once again. 3.55 left, second period. Most recent goal came from Jack Kopaka that me by surprise, and they actually added two assists to that goal. They gave Bruyette and Moran the helpers. The only San Jose tally came from Blickfield. One minute, 37 seconds after the goal's first goal. Russo and Robbins on the helper. And I haven't seen Russo on the ice at all this period. Until just now. <laughs> As he touches the puck in the corner. I don't know. He was on the bench. I don't know if he had an ailment that kept him over, but... Ball's adding more sustained pressure, not allowing the Barracuda... They get a line change. Or get it out for that matter. They seem trapped down there. Blown tire by Carrick. Russo backhands it off the boards. Able to shovel it out. Passionate adding pressure as well as Kotka, but they can't get to the bench. Gulls will change. And a nice wizardry by Zegris to get some space. So Feed De Leo wound it up. And a shot blocked and pinballs to center. Now the changes start coming for the Barracuda. Camel look out on the ice. Briette able to connect the pass to Jones, and he'll snap one high and wide, and he goes all the way back to the San Diego zone. Two and a half remaining, period number two. Calls on top, five to one. Magna at center, played to Hamill up, cross intercepted by Agazino. Feed it back to Brew yet, and then backhanded all the way down the ice. Jones couldn't sneak in. 
He was caught offside, so we'll face off. We'll drop in the neutral zone right in front of the goal's bench. Because the pass came from the goal zone, it'll go all the way back. Magazino stepping in on the draw. Wins it straight back, and Josh Mahura to it. Finds the stick of Brew yet. He'll play it to right wing side. Mahura couldn't really get to it. It was tipped and fumbling, and the Gulls need to lay this puck down and get it out. Another one coming from across the slot. Robbins blocked. Finally out to center. Magna will poke it back in. Mahura to it. Puck's really lively right now in the goal zone. And again a knuckler. The goals can't get it out. Finally, it's touched off the boards and down the ice it goes. That came off the stick of Perot, but unfortunately an icing call. I'll tell you one thing. The ice quality here is top notch. Pull another puck out of the freezer and throw it on the ice. Face off that'll drop to the right. Uh, Dostal and finally tipped out by Jones. And Perot heads to the bench for Potter Alsk. 126 left. Gauls finishing up their changes. They get the deep pair off. Tries they'll low jump out. Barracuda charge to center. Gruel, great block on Halperwalks trying to come up yet once again. Battle for it at center. Finds the stick at Drysdale. That'll be Podorowski and left for Gruel. Gruel into the attacking zone. Left on the left wing and a shot gets gobbled up by Kornosh. Tracy trying to sneak one through on a rising shot, but it caught Kornosh up high and he'll freeze and hang on for a whistle. Just under a minute left in period number two. Offensive plenty for the San Diego Gulls here tonight. Face off win for the Gulls. Low to Podorowski. He's able to fight off a physical body work, get it free. A shot save and a rebound that was rolling on Gruel. Sailed wide of the net and it's clear down the ice. 42 seconds left of the period. Drysdale to low. Off the far wall and out. Co to it for San Jose. Shoots the cross ice. Able to connect it to Topping and he'll curl back in his own zone. Tracy and Toppy collided after you let go of the pass. Worked free, and the goals back on the attack. Tracy, right wing side. Tried to send it to the net. Missed. Low, able to hold it in. No feet, Podorowski. To Moran. At the point, Benoit, Knuckler, and it jumped off his stick and went out of play with four seconds remaining of the second period. Well, just overall, a very good period for the San Diego Gulls. Shot total. 27 right now for San Diego. They've allowed 18. Face off will drop at center. Right in front of the goals bench. It's won by Topping, and Mega will wind out the clock as he skates it behind his own net. So the San Diego Gulls will take a three goal second period into the intermission. And this was a period where San Diego was able to control. And with authority in ways, too. One thing the goals really have working tonight, obviously, is the power play. That's something we'll touch on in the near mission period. And another thing, too, is the fact that they're able to have good backstopping as well. When needed, Dostal has been there for this club. We'll take a short break. We'll return. We'll talk with Keegan Lowe as well during the intermission. This San Diego Gulls hockey.
Hello, Goals fans. Welcome back inside Five Point Arena. My name is Andy Zilch. The Goals with a good lead, and they're going to try to keep this lead, contain this lead. But let's recap the period and show you how we got here. We had a three goal second period. If you look at Lucas Dostal, if you're looking on the video feed, he has put together a great performance. But let's backtrack to the goals that we've had. That is one thing that can't be overshadowed. Goals able to work perimeter, get it to the slot. Sam Carrick there, waiting to punch it in. Does it again. And then finally, you can't forget about the third goal too, as you're seeing Carrick punch that one in. Third goal scored by Jack Kopaka. Even had some close ones there. Max Jones, he was almost on the goal line to tip it in. And a fight too, also, right in the middle of that second period. Hunter Drew. Drew down with Pashnik in a good fight. And that Jack Kopak goal I was talking about. Back bar and in with the San Diego Gulls to their 5-1 to one lead. That's where we stand right now. And the Gulls will look to try to keep that lead. They're going to contain physical play, strong snap passes. Keeping the San Jose Barracuda head spinning is what they need to do. They need to mirror that first and second period and keep that foot on the gas pedal. We're about to embark on period number three. At center ice, it's Sam Carrick and Suamella that are doing the faceoff. And it is dropped. Carrick wins it. Here we go for the final 20. Pass through center ice, gets blocked. It's fed backwards. Carrick Kuda trying to stretch the ice, and it almost bit him in the back as they found themselves on the other end of a receiving shot that Kornos turned aside. Back up ice, a snapshot off the far wing. It's blocked away. That came off the stick of Suamella. Balls responding at Zegras right circle. Tried to center, but it's broken up. Backhanded out. Ball go Watts. Cross to the left wing, Suamella. He's watched by Drysdale. Blocks the pass. Can't clear. Held in. Wise Blatt with it. Sent down low. Drysdale with a good shimmy shake. Moves away from Suamella. Both players at the end of a shift, so... Drysdale casually skates to his own blue line, feeds it right wing for Max Jones, who's fresh off the ice. He overskated the puck. Bergman to it. Slides around Drew, but the puck gets away from him. Perot's there to leave it for Drew. Drew will go up ice. Perot cross, try to go to Jones. No good. Packed away. The goal's back in their own zone after. 2.20 gone. 120 gone, I beg your pardon. Third period, 5 1. San Diego with the lead. Robbins for the Barracuda. Fed up to Coe. Coe gets stood up at the line. Great body check by Hunter Drew. He'll get the puck free. Negate the oncoming offensive attack by the Barracuda. And he sends it up to the right wing side for Gruel. Gruel couldn't get it in deep. Cleared back out to the goal zone. Benoit to Tracy. Curls back in his own territory. Benoit yet once more. Long stretch. Almost goal line to the opposing blue line. And that's easy for Redekop to see and clear away. Benoit back behind his own net to it. Up to Tracy off the boards. Able to squeak it out. But couldn't do it with possession. Topping and Blickfield. They go in two on one, but couldn't get a shot on net. Battle for the puck in the corner of the goal zone. Jumping away with it was yet able to knock it free. Andrew Podorowski steps into the zone offside. Three players with a multi-point performance. It's Carrick with a three-point night. Magazino, Zegris, each with two point nights. Zegris, two helpers. Shot leader. For San Diego, it's Sam Carrick, of course. Chase DeLeo right behind him with three. He's got a helper and a plus two to his name. Moran for the goals. The San Jose zone. Feeds right circle. Drysdale pinches down low. Centered. And it's on the crease. Found by Cornash. We'll freeze and hang on for a whistle. On the Barracuda side, they've only had one tally. That came one minute 
37 seconds after the Agazino goal. Blickfeld by Russo and Robbins. Shot leader for the Barracuda, pretty obvious, it's Blickfeld. He's been outstanding tonight. Face off one by the Barracuda. It's Saucer down ice. Oh boy, Dostal fanned on the clearing attempt. He blocked the puck. The toe of his stick was on the ice, but the heel was not, so he missed it, but it ended up like no harm, no foul. Falls back on the attack. Paul Gawax taken down behind his own net. Moran hovering in the slot. Along the right circle, but couldn't get a shot off. He's able to keep the puck in the attacking zone. A pass to Dosti, hit off the heel of the stick, went between his legs, and it's taken away. Wise Blad in. And the Hall go walks, his chance turned aside. Hunter Drew again, throwing the heavy body around this time. Redekop is the recipient. And the puck cleared out to center ice. Four gone, period three. 5-1, goals with the lead. Dostal the carry. He'll charge out of his own zone. Bergman watches closely. Eric will send it in, rimmed around to the near side. Ahura tried to tip it down low. Puck jumped over his stick. And it's taken by Bergman. He'll go one-on-one. -on -one. He's able to get a shot, but easily blockered away by Dostal to the corner. Nice slippery move by Zegris to knock it out, get it away from Ko, but he missed stick handled. And he drew DeLeo offside to give us a stop in the action. Goals will be back at it Thursday right here against the Barracuda. Jones, Agazino for O-line out. Topping wins the faceoff. He's able to move up the lineup. He's playing with Blickfeld. And on the opposite wing, Hamela. And Wada Perot tipped out to center. Merkley to Hamela. Trying to give and go off the boards to himself. But Perot biding up and then Brew yet came in and finished up the job. A pass from Benoit to Jones does not connect. And another icing call on the goals. Shots over the periods. One thing I have not talked about. 12-7 goals led first period. 14-11 second period. Right now we're 2-2 on the third and final period. Faceoff will drop to the right of Dostal. Zeno lost the draw. He gets tumbled into by Hamelock. Those two separate in the goal zone while the play is back in the Barracuda territory. Pass does not connect to Hamelock, and that'll be an icing call on the Barracuda. Or a long stretch pass from Gregoire did not connect. Faceoff will drop to the right of Kornosh. Magazino on the faceoff, and he'll draw against Suomela. Faceoff won by the Barracuda. Bruyette forced to center. Next one to Jones, and he gets hassled by two white sweaters. He's able to get a free for Benoit, but then the pressure goes to him. Eventually jarred loose. Jones still couldn't get it out. Gregoire steps in with a shot. That's blockered away by Dostal. And the Barracuda with a good showing on this shift. Throwing the gulls back on their heels. But Bruyette trying to turn the tide. They'll speed up the right wing side. Roll it to the trapezoid line. Jones protecting the puck. Moves it towards the net, but couldn't get a clean shot as it's covered up by Kornosh. 13.53 left third period, 5-1. Gulls with the lead. Take a break and step aside. This is San Diego Gulls hockey.
We're back to the five-point arena. 5-1 five lead for the Gulls. Roll on the face-off. He technically won it, but it went to Barracuda defenseman Chukster. Cleared up to center, Gruel back to it. Lost the handle of the puck, Chukster plays it behind the net. Russo off the glass. Egan low, gloved it down. So a delayed whistle, but Russo to it first. So the linesman will say, let's keep going. Puck dumped into the goal zone. Puck swept to Podorowski, he's able to get the puck out. Flat-footed shoots that couldn't hold it in. And the Gulls will maintain possession because of it. Podorowski shoved off the puck, but Tracy there with support. Curls back in his own zone and feeds low. Gulls to a change. Seven gone, period number three. Three goal, second period. The biggest talking point as to why the Gulls have a 5-1 to one lead. Power play, another talking point. Her on the attack. Back pedals to the blue line. We'll find Kopaka. He tried to return, but it forces Mahura out to center. He gets pressured. Suomela intercepts, turns one on, and a save made by Dostal. Suomela back behind the net. Tried to go to the same post in which he came from. The wise Blatt's tap doesn't go. And we have a stoppage in play here. And Mahura and Weisblatt with a few jabs to one another. Paul Gawash jumping in as well, just to trying to separate. Mahura gives him a glance and a smile. Puck was batted down with a high stick, so it'll go out to center. Winning the face off against Suomela. Benoit pass up to DeLeo. He'll deflect it in. Right a cop to it first. Behind the net, Gregoire. Touched round your side. Benoit able to step up on a body check. The puck squirts back to the goal zone, but recipient of that, Weisblatt. Benoit making sure that he's got his teammates back. Here's DeLeo on the right wing side with a shot hits off the side of the net. DeLeo back out to the blue line. Circle the wagons, now feed Bruyette. Here's a down low to the corner, and he gets muscled off the puck. However, it's picked up by Carrick. Oh, he tried to cut to the slot, but at the last second, rejected. Barracuda on a rush up ice. Hamiluk couldn't get much with it, and Bruyette will lob it out. Down to 11 and a half remaining of regulation. Low to it for the Gulls. Played to Bruyette. Send it off the boards and out, but it's blocked by Blickfeld. Left it at the blue line. Chukes the shot, denied. Hit off a shin pad. Blickfeld gets it. Another shot, but no good. That one also hitting off traffic in front. Goals clogging the shooting lanes. And doing so with ease here in the third period. San Jose laying on some good pressure, however, though. The tide is... Certainly not like the second period. Bruyette will settle it up behind his own net. Gulls finishing up a line change. Drysdale and Mahura, a new pairing for the Gulls, out on the ice. Drysdale scoops it up behind the net. Sixth overall pick in the most recent draft will dump it in. Lively boards and the Barracuda get right to it, topping through center. Powered in by Bergman. On the near boards, Merkley able to work it loose. It's played back to Megna. He shoots. A wrist shot got tipped, but a save still made by Dostal. Drysdale in the corner. Trying to kick it free. He'll get it to Agazino. Out of Perot. He couldn't chop it out. Megna lumbers in with a heavy stick and body. Able to nudge it down low. Topping in the corner. He gets wrestled off by Perot. Agazino comes in. Jars. Bergman off the puck. Those two still hammering away at each other, even though the puck's gone away from them for about 10 seconds. And here at the Five Point Arena, the Jumbotron gets tested for the first time as Drysdale tried to put it sky high to the neutral zone. Instead, 
Pegged it off the board. will take us to a break. 9.47 left third period. Gulls lead 5-1. This is San Diego Gulls hockey. We're back inside the five-point arena. 5-1 five calls with the lead. Right off the face-off, an attempt by Kotkov doesn't connect on the net. The loose puck behind the cage, found by Robbins. He's muscled up by Mahura. Drew also behind the net, able to poke it loose. Kept alive by Gregoire at the blue line. He'll go down low to Robbins. Skates free to the corner. He's got space, so he'll shoot, and no good. Again behind the nets. Opportunity for Pashnik. We'll go to the blue line for Gregoire, who's watched by Tracy. We'll feed Redekop, who rolls it to the corner, and Drew gets there first to Tracy. Good seam on the pass. He's able to find Mahura on an area pass. Sends it up to Gruel. Poked off his stick. Podorowski scoops up the loose change. A pass gets tipped behind the net. Benoit pinching. Keep it alive at the goal line. Rawski gets double teamed and in to help out is Tracy. His pass intended for Moran in the slot, intercepted by Redekop. And turned up ice. It's away from Hall of Kopaka back in. Left wing side. He tries for number two, but a blocker saved by Kornosh. Moran gets dumped behind the net. Puck worked freely to Kopaka. He tried to dump it down low. Regaining its wise blatt. His pass up, broken up by Benoit, who then ices it with 8.17 remaining in the third period. Face off will drop to the left. I beg your pardon, the right of Dostal. Now it's Moran against Topping. Topping will get booted. Lickfeld in to take it. Moran, one helper on the night. The most recent goal from Kopaka. Face off win by the Barracuda. Wrap around chance, but no good. Just chukes though on the opportunity. Defenseman last year put up 18 points in 34 games played with Quinnipiac. Yes. Topping on the draw yet once again. This time to the left of Dostal. A shot blocked. Tracked down by Topping behind the net. Injury plague season last year for him. Playing with Kelowna Walk Rockets. Talk about Podorowski for the goals this year. There's a lot of storylines for these individuals that marry each other. It's Kopaka brought it in across the line. He didn't have enough gusto in his skates as he caught the pass flat foot and got caught up to. Puck turned into the goal zone. Benoit heavy hit on Blickfeld. Benoit lost his stick because of it. He's able to get to it though. And a board battle this time along the Right hand side of Dost. Down to 7 18 remaining, period number three. 5 1. Calls with the lead. Moran.
Moran can't curl away with it. It's Bruyette who's able to retrieve. Barracuda got in a line change. It's vision by Bruyette, able to find a seam. But a pass went to a guy who was jumping over the board, so that'll be an icing call on the goals. We'll be back at it on Thursday. Six o'clock, Barracuda return. Face off will go to the right of Gostel. 214 square up, Moran Suomela. Barracuda win the draw and a shot missing wide of the net. Markley didn't really intend to put that one on net, he just wanted to go down low. Co hovering in the slot. Could never get a shot off. The puck came in his direction. Another pass shot by Merkley. It's off the side of the net. Barracuda all perimeter work and controlling a good majority of the last few minutes. It's tipped out to center ice. Here's Merkley. He's pressured by DeLeo. Able to get away from him, though. DeLeo's got that breakaway speed. Saw that a lot last year. And a lot from the penalty kill last year. Guys like Clues, DeLeo, Carey. All able to get those shorthanded breakaway goals. Speaking of Carrick, probably the heaviest hit tonight. Delivered to Coe just a moment ago. That'll segue the goals up by Carrick almost put it in. He's got two on the night, almost had a hat trick. There's a snapshot on a rush up ice that Dostal's able to smother and hang on for a whistle. 5.59, third period. We'll have the conclusion coming your way next on the goals audio network. over San Diego. Hockey is back. Sticks are taped, skates are sharpened, and your San Diego Gulls are geared up to take the ice this February. Catch every puck drop, hard hit, and goal this season, and see your goals battle the Pacific Division rivals, including the Ontario Reign, San Jose Barracuda, and Colorado Eagles. Stay tuned to San Diego Gulls.com slash hockey is back for more information. So what we'll do with the post game. Point Arena. Gulls with a 5 to 1 lead. Under six to go. Defensive zone faceoff win, but Gregoire holds it in. A cross size pass tipped into the stands. Faceoff will drop to the right of Dostal. So far on the night, the young netminder has turned aside. 28 of 29, especially in this third period, he stopped 11 of 11. Drysdale will able to get away from the physicality of Kotkov, big Russian player. Head to low, and he'll storm in. Low tried to center, blocked. Finds Kornosh, who puts the glove on it. Boy, shots have gotten extremely close because of this third period, 11-6. The shot total for the advantage of the Barracuda. Face-off win by Gruel, but force the Gauls out to center ice. Bo Gruel, who is the son of Ben Gruel, coaches the Syracuse Crunch over in the Eastern Conference, the affiliate of Tampa and Florida this year, but primarily Tampa. Hey, 
Tracy with a sipping of a pass. Good pass from Drew. Now Podorowski in front. Mahura couldn't get it on. And it's hacked out to center ice. Tracy tips it in. Goals to the bench on a wholesale change. Magna behind his own net. Forced to make a play by Moran. And it's Bergman who gets the pass. Over the line. Robbins tried to toe drag around Benoit. The stick goes into the stands. Benoit adds another check, and then he'll get a charge up ice. The defenseman try to backdoor feed, but just a little too tall for Moran. Yet picks it off the boards. He'll go down low to Moran. He gets stumbled down to the ice by Robbins. Also lost footing anyways. But it's fed back to Bruyette, cross to Benoit, whose shot doesn't go. Now Kopaka. Kopaka to Benoit. It's like a shooting range for him, but this time he sees Bruyette, who's wide open on the right wing, feeds him with a pass. Angles it off the boards, and the goals will slowly start to mix in a change. Dosti behind the net for Moran. All cycling, now fed back to the blue line. Bruyette, cross, Drysdale. His shot gets blocked. Rolls off to the right wing boards. Moran takes a heavy check from Bergman. And that'll parlay Robbins to carry it in. Drysdale erases him with a body check. 3.23 left of the third period. The weight's flying around here. And the closing minutes of this one. Drysdale back in the attack. To Zegris, a shot and a save made. Rebound off the boards. And another save by Cornish. Boy, the tempo just picked up over the past two, three minutes. And starting it, Simon Benoit with the body check that sent the stick flying out into the stands here at Five Point Arena. Face off will drop to the right of Cornish. It's Carrick on the draw. Suomela opposing. Carrick wins it. Zegris plays it behind his back to Drysdale. To Zegris, shoots, and a save is made by Cornage. Behind the net, found by DeLeo. He tried to center to Zegris, tipped off of a skate. Clear, no good. Drysdale holds it in. He'll get a one-timer off after a give-and-go with DeLeo. But it's gobbled up by Cornage. Down to 2.51 remaining in the third period. Good last few minutes surge here by the Gulls. The first 10 minutes, really you can even say from, I, I fairly say minute 18, down to about minute five, the Barracuda were applying way more pressure than they have all game. And the Gulls responding here in the conclusion of this. Topping, trying to clear the puck out. He'll get some help off the wing. Might be an icing call foot race that low wins out, so it is indeed an icing call, and it'll go back down. Now, as we near the end of this game, one thing to touch on. Some names that you're not familiar with, hopefully I've given you some insight more, especially in the third period, to who a lot of these players are. Ten returning players to the San Diego Goals from the last game that they had last season. May, uh, not May, March 11th game in Tucson. I will never forget that moment. Heck of a win, too, by the Gulls. 2.20 left, third period. Jones along the left wing. Another big body check coming. That was Russo. Delivered it on Jones, but the Gulls maintain pressure. A shot at it by Drew. Tipped wide. Egazino leaves it for Drew at the line. Tried to set it up for Mahura. Tipped. And Hamiluk will roll it into the goal zone. Dostal out. Almost got caught out of the net, but Hunter Drew will just run over a flat-footed Hamiluk. Can't clear it, though. Robbins tries a dipsy-doodle around. Can't get it. Roll scoops it up. Strides through center ice, gains the line, left wing side, he'll play it behind the net, Hulk Wax picks it off. Speedy Winger will shuffle it out to the right wing side. 
Wise Blatt gains the Gauls line and a pass gets blocked to the blue line. Megna holds it in by a hair. Sends it down low. 118 left third period. Podorowski able to send it out. Paul Gawax goes backwards. Now one thing to keep in mind here for the Barracuda. They have iced a lot of players here tonight. Notably, two defensemen. I've only said Carrick on one side of the ice. His brother not in action here tonight. De Simone also not in action. They each skated with the team though today. Go breaks it in on the right wing for the Barracuda. Tried to cross. It's blocked. Kept alive at the line. Here's Gregoire. His pass hits off a skate of Kopaka out to center with 35 left. Calls will cruise to the first win of the new season. Preseason, although still a win's a win. And hockey's hockey, and it's back. 20 seconds left. Two teams will rematch on Thursday, 6 o'clock, here at Five Point Arena at Great Park Ice. Go from the right wing. Cross ice to the left wing. It's carried down low. Drysdale with an active stick. Prevents a scoring chance from Hamelock. And a pile up to the right shoulder of Dostal. Snuck free. Blickfeld found it, but time expires. And the Gulls to a 5-1 victory against the San Jose Barracuda. They're able to put together a three-goal second period. And no other goals were scored after that. Two goals on the power play, a big factor. The man in net, Lucas Dostal, there when the goals needed him. And especially in that third period, collectively, he stopped 28 of 29. We owe you a break. We will return with a recap of the game, some insight. We'll say so long because we'll have another one coming up on Thursday. This is San Diego Gulls Hockey.